is a contest. Four against North Melbourne two weeks ago. They've had the bye. They've had plenty of time to consider how they're going to fill their deficiencies in defence. Simply put, they just want to be in this match at halftime. Buntine has the job on Jack Rebolt. We know he dominated when they met in round 10 last year. They're into it again. Tom Downey has come in to strengthen that ruck position for the Giants, and he's thrust right into the action in the middle against Marriage. And that's where it started, Hutto. It was a nice break even against Marriage. That's all they want. Around these clearances, around the stoppages, break even, give their forward half an even chance. Good strength shown by the Tigers around the footy. Buntine and Rebolt. And push goes against Jack, I think, here. Gonna be happy with that. Sometimes when you go to the bye and you've uh, had some outs, there's a little push in the back. It'd be interesting to see uh, whether the full umpire yeah. panel agree with that one. There is some debate about it, uh, but it was there for mine. But they've had the seven days to consider, to reflect, and it gives them an opportunity to come back with renewed energy. Rants to Cochin. Skies it out to the wing. Flostone, Newman. Back to Flostone, close to the line, he'd be looking to get over, and he uses Kennedy as a bit of a way to do that. We just saw there before, Matt Bantine lining up on Jack Rewald, it looks like. Of course, last year uh, he kicked 11 against GWS, corresponding round. Aiden Corr had seven of those kicked on him, so they've gone for a new matchup. In 33 minutes, <laughs> yeah, if you don't right. mind. Didn't think... want to mention, you want to knock the young fella around too much, Hutter. And he's out there today, so he'll be hoping that Bantine goes pretty well. Because I'm sure he doesn't want to experience it uh, one more time. That's a... A positive start at least. Toby Green takes them in. Cameron's there, but the man in front taking a strong mark is Rory Lobb. Well done to Rory Lobb. He uh, is going to be a player. Obviously, he's <laughs> he young. Doesn't know the, he obviously doesn't know the rules of lining up for goal. Well, he does know the rules. He also knows the ways of cheating those rules, it would appear. But uh, good on the umpire. Got him back. Let's see if he can finish. Just an impressive start. It's a test yeah. of ball, Brownie, for the... Well, it is, Jared, Jared, because that's where Richmond has dominated in the last few weeks, and last year that's how they got back into the season. Just his fourth game of AFL footy came in that match in the absence of Mumford against North Melbourne. He's got some extra support today, as we said, with Tom Downey. Unfortunately, he misses away to the right, so the Giants with a behind. And they're going to full press. Nothing half pregnant about this one, Brandon. They've uh, got them all up the ground. They've just got two... Sitting uh, about 70 metres away two, from the kicker. Two gatekeepers. So Hurley bombs for half back. Rance chose not to fly, left it to his teammates to do that. Sweeping in Cochin. Took a while to get a run of it. And even there, they're in close attendance. Chalor not too far away. And March back. We saw him make his debut a couple of weeks ago in that game against North. Just dropping a couple of uh, extra players back. Playing on the inside of their opponents. Green, released when he needed to. Trelaw, Whitfield, they set back up for Griffin. And even further, Kennedy, he's the man that releases the kick. Into the 50, genuine two on two. Lob, contested well. Rance puts the head down. Chaplin, Palmer. Oh, that's back. They've all got a bit fancy there for a moment. From Downey. She's a swarming tackle here from uh, GWS. Tigers have got a hold here. They're up and about early. Yeah. Tigers have just got to withstand the pressure, maybe penetrate the line, get an early goal to get some of this momentum away. Double their tackles early in the game. Well, they started and finished poorly against North, but they were actually pretty good in the middle of that game and were, were quite competitive. Clearly, the deficiencies in the ruck really hurt them. One of the great challenges in footy, Brownie, is coping mentally after a huge win like the Tigers had last week against the Sydney Swans. And this was the man who led them, and he's leading again. Edwards asks the back at the right time and makes the clean escape as they drive along. Along the line, hard to control. Delidio. Hampton, another one who's returned to this team. Kennedy's been prominent early. And they've worked their way out. Ryan Griffin. He does. Well, he just didn't have much to go to. He's gone to the one-on-one. -on -one. Chaplin trying to protect the ball and keep Lob at bay until reinforcements arrive. And they do. Martin, Alice, Hooley. Got four, five Giants to deal with. Non-call there as great, Scully went to ground. Great signs, Hutto. You, you love to see high numbers of the ball yeah. around the contest already. GWS showing more signs of energy across the field. Free kick against the skipper. Scully inside, doing well. 
I saw something I haven't seen for a long time, uh, about an hour ago, and that was Leon Cameron running around and checking the boots of every player. He was <laughs> making sure they had the long moulded on. Not well, long stops, but long moulded. That's right. It's interesting because the players don't really wear the, the old yeah. screw-in stops anymore, Jerry. but there is blades. Most of the guys have got a blade format on the bottom of their boots, and they're very reluctant to wear the long ones these days. The grounds are so good that very rarely you have to, but on a day like today where you've got that surface moisture, yep. uh, there'll be a lot of slipping over because of the hard deck underneath. Lawson, third up there. It looks like there is a, some pretty hard matchups in the midfield. Yeah, Delors running with Cochin. You can see that uh, pretty clearly. It looks like Dylan Shield is running with Miles. Miles on Shield. And I'm not sure Greg, if Miles on Shield has against Shield on Miles. I'll uh, follow that with interest, I don't. And Greg trying to get to Ward. Yeah, so it's going to be interesting as the rotations take place. And, Maybe the coaches get the chess board out and manoeuvre them around. This is going to be a real real key because GWS need to ma match them around the stoppages. Spoke about that pre-game, but if they can keep it less numbers there and get numbers behind the ball to start their quick transition, that'll be good for GWS. Trelaw to Shield. He was restricted to just 11 disposals by Ben Jacobs two weeks ago. Rance was trying to drag the ball back under his opponent there. And the umpire either didn't see it or he was awake to it. Looking forward to that matchup, Cameron versus Rance. Obviously, we saw Rance versus Buddy last week. The Richmond fans getting a bit impatient. They've only been inside 50 once so far through the first six minutes. Yeah, nothing too tight about uh, the tag on Miles. Shields is uh, just playing freewheeling at the moment. And Dustin Martin is uh, his direct opponent just for that clearance, and he wins it again. Interesting on the right side of the right boot. Yeah, Green had an opportunity to go a second time, and Hurley takes it over. Looks like Palmer might be playing a defensive role on him. It's been a source of conversation the last few weeks, too. Players not kicking on their left foot, Jared, so that may get brought up with Devin Smith. <laughs> Jared, I think you need to make a campaign or something to make sure that juniors learn to kick on their opposite side. It's frustrating me. Yeah, a fair chance we may have started that one and uh, unofficially Moon's OK. If I'm getting the right to do it officially, we'll go with it. Palmer, great little snap. And the long sleeves help him put it through. Keeping him warm out yeah, there, Brownie. Very, very good, exactly. You don't see the long sleeves very often, but great start by GWS. Their energy around the ball is fantastic. They're getting numbers out the back, loose numbers. A couple of players are set up behind the ball. But they're allowed to do that because there's been genuine competitiveness at the stoppages. And uh, been terrific there. Ward is getting matched up by Greg, but of course we've got Griffin there as well. They're matching in the rucks against marriage. Good start by GWS. And you'll see here, no goalkeeper. Goes over the head of Troy Chaplin for a nice snag by Bruce Palmer. Inside 50s. All one way just about at the moment, favouring the Giants, and they're looking to move forward again. Jack Steele was impressive a couple of weeks ago, and the glimpses we saw, handball from Hurley, helped on by Martin, back to the wing. Again, hits a roadblock. Kennedy's been good so far. Up for possession number three. Interesting setup with Rory Lobb deep. They've got a reasonably tall forward line, a bit mobile. Grimes reading it. The inward ball takes the mark. He's having a good season now, Grimes. Uh, had some issues with injury, but uh, coming in some really good form. Clear options dried up for him. He went down the line. Jim Kennedy could have taken the mark. Didn't perhaps realise how clear he was. Match on their terms at the moment, uh, yeah. GWS. They'd be really pleased with where it's at. They're not being able to break a line. They're setting up really good defence. They won the clearance is 8-1, to one, Jared, so far. Yeah, all the indicators are they should be further ahead on the scoreboard. Griffiths. Tries to work his way. There's Ward again as the third up. And it's paid and taken by Miles. Kicks them up to the 50. The fly from Buntine was impressive, but no mark. Well, that was excellent from Buntine. He came off his man. It's a dangerous yeah. man in Jack Rewald to give a two-on-one situation. Very much having a web defence type characteristics. Really working together as a unit. Great signs, Jared Early, from a young defender who's obviously playing against one of the great forwards in the competition can tend to be really negative and conservative. You've still got to be able to help out, drift off, go for those third-up men uh, marking contests. Really good signs by Matt Bartone, Early. 
Tigers kicking efficiency at the moment is 18%. Yeah, they're off at the moment. They're going to have to steal themselves, find some uh, inspiration, some energy from some of their leaders. Chaplin, he misses the mark. Being harassed. Smith will happily take it over. With Bachelor for company. Excellent first 10 minutes. I'm sure Damien Harbour doesn't think so. Need another couple of goals though, Brandon, to get some real reward yeah. for the effort. Get some reward on the scoreboard. Yeah, it was against Toby Green. Yeah, right. We know this game's so much about momentum. You know Richmond will have a certain stage of momentum throughout this game. You need to kick goals when you have your periods of momentum. Well, they knew it was coming to Reebok. Made it difficult for him. It's going to come back to March back at seven half back by the look of things. Second game back in this year. Pretty hard edge key defender, the young fella. He's one for the future for sure. Just 18 years of age. He's yeah. actually probably nearly the youngest player in the competition this year playing senior footy. I like the work of Adam Kennedy though, leaving his man again to come and impact on the contest. Real team defence at the present time for the Giants, and we're looking for a response as Damien Hardwick would be from uh, the Tigers. Oh, that's uh, not great. Whitfield getting himself into trouble, and then into green, and now back, it's up for grabs, and it's all Richmond. Martin, no, again, they found a way to close him down. Ryan Griffin, sensational. And the Tigers, it's confidence being set very quickly here by the pressure. Well, it was a mistake followed up by a really good second effort. He went to bump him, I think, first up, but uh, he just does not get bumped, does Dustin Martin. And yet he finally uh, backed up Ryan Griffin with a good second tackle, and uh, they're away again. Palmer takes the mark, just behind the wing on the southern side. Cameron, this is just a domination at the moment. It's five inside 50s to one. Really just haven't uh, impacted on the scoreboard yet. But they haven't. Jeremy, you know the problem is with Richmond. We keep saying is they're good. Their best, their best is good enough. We've seen them beat the best sides in the competition. It's their mental strength, their mental capacity to come up against sides where they should be has always been a bit of a problem. They've just started very poorly today, haven't they? So they're falling down inside 50 at the moment. They're the Giants, so they haven't been able to penetrate enough. And here's a path out for Richmond, perhaps with Alice and Hurley to collaborate further down the ground. He could go back to marriage if he chooses. Now they're manned up pretty well. Finds Alice. I guess the West Coast gave you a blueprint to play against Richmond, didn't they? Here just two weeks or three weeks ago. Oh, very generous whistle right by the umpire as the ball. That's good signs though, because MCG is very difficult ground to defend against. It's a big circle, really. So to spread your numbers across the field is really difficult, especially for a young side like GWS who wouldn't have a huge amount of loud communicators out on the field. It opens up by Greg and. Now Dusty's on the move. He's headed for Revolt on the bounce. Terrific trap. Griffin was nearby again. Flick the handball to Griff first. He's hoping more than anything. Ty Vickery. He's got Miles there. Somehow got the ball to him. And knew it was coming now, the Giants. Well, they're working hard. Let's have a look at uh, the mark by Jeremy Cameron in front. Good sign. It's good to see him leading up at the ball early. Nice oh, clip. Get off it. What did you think of that, Brennan? Uh, well, I've probably been guilty of it in the past, but uh, <laughs> you'd want to be a little bit careful, though, Jeremy. He's taking the mark, so don't give it back. Can we throw up? Hotchin. Well, they've got a young Ruckman in the side, two young Ruckman, so you'd expect that they were going to go third man up. And have a look at the numbers here. Trelaw, Ward, young boys, young midfielders who are really having an impact. Shields, they try and find their way out. Williams hacks it back to the wing. And it's taken over. So, most of the action's been between the arcs, really. Six inside 50s to two. Grab by Vickery to Alice. Scrambles it forward. Ruffles playing in front. Here's Cochin. Well, they've done exactly what they needed to do. They've turned this into a major fight, a scrimmage, and they're winning 
more of the contested ball at the present time and finding the space. Mm. The Tigers just have not been able to get any flow whatsoever. The Giants will be thrilled with their defence at the moment. Their structure superb. Miles Grigg, it is hard to get clean possession out of there. Grigg's going to gain some metre each. A lot of tackling, uh, Hutto, and, and GWS is number one in the competition for tackling. But quite often the last few weeks, it's been because they're chasing backside the whole time. But what I'm liking here is the intensity at the contest. They're laying heavy tackle numbers. That's allowing them to get the clearance game going early. From the throw-in, Vickery, Grigg. And again, the spare man just sitting back in the hole, read it well. He's going to find touch beautifully. And the spare man can be effective, Jared, when there's intensity around the stoppages yeah. and a high tackling pressure. So when the ball comes in long and high and scrappy, that spare man can take the mark and start the offensive flow for GWS. If there's easy ball coming in, the spare man's ineffective. Vickery getting it in the hands of Newman, who improvised. Cochin, like a panther, gets it across to Alice. He doesn't get the shape on the kick he was after. And they still haven't scored. Well, they ran the uh, gauntlet there. Braden Ellis was on his own at the stoppage. No one gave him any attention. He kept pushing forward and he got on to a handball, which should have been a goal on the left leg. Griffiths had a bit of an opportunity. They have at least scored. One behind their sole entry at this stage. After 16 minutes in the opening term, so it just passed the halfway point to the first quarter. It's been sloppy there, Hutto. Yeah, Richmond's defenders, oh, sorry, defence, setting up his own defence was just slow. That's a poor sign from Tigers early. Kennedy getting adventurous. He's well read. Kennedy's really well through. read. Marked well by Rance. And now they can bring it back. Using Alice so often a means of getting them from one end to the other. Jeremy Cameron just saying to the players, we're set up to use the space behind. Kick it behind, that's where I'm going to go. Don't kick it to where you think I'm going. Kick it to where we've predetermined that the spare space is. Shavuli, his seventh disposal. Takes them up to the wing. Marriage, Griffiths. And the ball fisted over at Hidden Core with the spoil. Hats off to the Ruckman. You see Ivan Marriage, one of the premier Ruckman in the competition, but young Rob and uh, Downey have done a pretty good job early on with the help of some of the third up jumpers of GWS. Alice leading the disposals at the moment. Shield, nowhere out. And perhaps a bit fortunate for that to be determined a handball. Hampton, and now they're flicking it around back to Alice again. Devin Smith put him under the hammer. Takes it in his revolt. Well up the ground, takes the mark. And it's on time. Beautiful delivery to Gordon. Quick survey of what's on offer for him. You like the look of this coming straight up and presenting well, Griffiths. Yeah, they'd be disappointed that Adam Trelaw didn't cover that space. Yeah. He just uh, was ball watching. He's got his own role, but. That just needed to be cut off. You're going to play a web-type defence. You have got to leave your man. You've got to make a hard decision. That space needed to be blocked. 12 goals, 15 for the year for Ben Griffiths. We know he's a huge kick of the ball. So this is not beyond the rounds. Just drifted. Just dragging themselves back into the game. The Tigers have won seven of the eight, the last eight clearances. Um, so getting back on level terms, Lewis. So they go eight to one in the last few, in the last ten minutes there. So level up starting the to get their game going a little bit here. And so it's nine clearances all after that. Kick in Marich with the prominent fist. Gordon he had Greg further along the line. The Lydia, oh, Edwards was there. So there must be a fair few players with nobody in front of them because they've got so many numbers in defence. They've got to make the transition clear. Stop it and do them fine. Some great hard tackling there. He's sure with a big hit on Edwards. Back here, he's still complaining with the umpire. And then Jeremy Cameron comes in and lays another big hit. So, Brown, it's, it's so obvious down here in ground level. The way they're attacking the man, attacking the man with the ball at the moment. Their pressure is outstanding. Right now, look, you said Richmond, look at just see this tackle here from He's Shaw just driving him into the ground. A little bit of a dust up after that. But it's so evident down here the pressure that the Giants are bringing. And it was a free kick, though. Which one? That one for me, sure. Did high, you reckon? Well, he didn't have the ball, did he? 
Green skies it. And Chapman, it's a game of defences at the moment. Just the one goal through 20 minutes of action. Yeah, Bachelor, gee, it was more than it. Could be 50. 50. Yeah, yeah. shot a goal. Once again, though, he took the inside running. He was allowing his player to go to the outside, non preferred area. Don't push it sharp. Get out and kick a goal. Toby Green getting mentioned a fair bit. Walk out He's got now, plenty Toby. of going in. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's good advice. They've got the 50. I know they've got to you know, fly the flag and all that other stuff, Brownie. But it's the greatest waste of time of all time, that nonsense. Go down, kick the goal. Damien Hardwick. He, but they're not, they're, frustrated, man. But they're not going to get walked over to GWS. No, it's a young man. side, and there's been a lot of talk now that with all the key injuries to key senior players, the GWS, everyone's just going to walk over the top of them. Great to see him come out and show some fight. And yes, sure, we don't want to give away the free kick, but good to see him flying the flag there. They didn't give away the free kick. They didn't give away, uh, I suppose, the 50 metre penalty. Now he's just got to go back and convert and put some scoreboard pressure on the Richmond. So Williams comes in. This has to be converted, and it hasn't been. It's away to the right. Yeah, hopefully it'll be all right there, but it was a little bit late. Definitely deserved the 50 metres penalty. Just the Jared, penalty, I think. 50 metres for sure. Yeah. Best way to respond is to kick a goal. Well, they didn't, so the Tigers dodge one. Yeah, the boat, I yeah, think he was going for the ball. It was late. Open hand, just trying to hit the ball. Yeah. Just a little bit clumsy in the end, guys. That's all. It was only a 50. And he's not a dirty player, Trent Cotchin. Boundary's throw in. Ferrich <laughs> gets it down. Are you meant to take that into account when you're in the match review panel? Yeah, I think you are. So if you see you there, for instance, you that, would you have a different You would have been in trouble, Brownie. Yeah. <laughs> or oh, you, off Moons, off. in your early days. <laughs> I've got six for that. Yeah, we would have enjoyed the last three quarters, Moons, because we would have known it would have been the last time we played for a few weeks. There's the Mountainers back towards the goals. Foster was so effective as the extra last week against the Swans. Still was the third up that time. Newman, is there a way out of this for the Tigers? There is now. They're streaming. Edwards had Martin no up way. his sleeve, and there's no one ahead, so just keep sharing it around till you get close enough. And Martin pointed and said, have a shot for goal. But must have just slightly misdirected. Good communication there by the Tigers, so they could see that there was no one ahead. They had to get it within skidding distance of the goals. Oh. And they did that well, just didn't get the accuracy. So they set up their kicking defence a lot quicker than Richmond. Nearly turned it over. Griffin did well to hang on to the mark. Now, oh, just got himself out of the trouble that he caused. Kicks beyond half back. Bachelor looked likely. Well nullified by McCarthy. What a player he's become, or is uh, hopefully going to become. He's good in the air, he's good on the ground. He's a uh, he's a real young player with a massive future if he can continue this intensity around the ball. Steele has a couple of cracks at it. Has a reputation of being a tough nut. We've seen that already in the exposed form. And just, just over a game, here's Smith. He takes it over. So this is a very low-scoring game. Yeah. I know it's, we've had some rain in Melbourne. It's an arm wrestler. Yeah, yeah, both sides the, are cracking in. I think it's the tactics. I yeah. think it's the defence of both sides is really good. The more defence becomes expertise, the lower the scores. And we're seeing that again. Lowest time, lowest scores of all time this year. Marich, the ball sneaks out the back. High. And Toby Green. And Hunter, down here at ground level, it is still extremely slippery from the conditions from this morning. And when you do have that many numbers around the board, it's so hard to get some free-flowing footy. You got one out the back here. Can he pinpoint him? Core with the kick. Oh, good defence, Tigers. He's having a good month. He's lost him. Short to Alice. He's got Hooley. No hurry for Richmond yet. It opens things up a little bit on that southern side. Bachelor. 
Finds Chaplin at uh, the next. Oh, this is terrific defence by GWS. Really reacting quickly to those switch to play by the Tigers. Vickery. Core did well not to give away the free. Rounded up by Trelaw. He gets past Vickery, maybe a bit easily. Slams it up to the 50. Over Palmer's head. Slap back by Hurley Ward, who's getting a tight tag to Scully. Feeding Shield. Now he's within range. We know he's a beautiful kick. Just couldn't quite. And so the Giants creep along. Quickly back into play. Cotchin's got Gordon. Tiger fans expectant now as they get suddenly the half forward. Tiger fans roaring for a 50. Yep. Had an argument. Kane Lambert, here's Revolt. Duck back inside. Marchbank left on him. Not sure how that exactly happened. Have a chance to have a look, hopefully shortly, but Revolt's finally got himself free inside 50. Well, what we're seeing is the byproduct of really quick transition from the Tigers. Uh, didn't allow the Giants to set up extra numbers in defence. They've been playing team defence extremely well, setting up uh, to help each other out. And on that occasion, they were leaving Rewell one out. And as a forward, Brownie, you love when a guy puts the ball to advantage and makes you actually lead to the ball. That was a beautiful kick yeah. from Herbert. And it was magnificent last week against the Swans with six goals. And Revolt from 35. That's the first of what could be many today. Yeah, it's really good build up there by Richmond. Obviously from a quick kick in. GWS been reacting really well defensively, but weren't able to cover that. And uh, Richmond, very smart. Liked how the way they used it all throughout down the ground. And you just see Jack Rewald works his man back towards goal, then comes back into the space. But it's a really smart kick uh, by his teammate there. You can just see, gives Jack time, free himself up, kicks it to an area, and makes Jack go to it. Yeah, it was interesting replay. You just saw the Ruckman and Toby Green. They were getting back defensively, but they weren't back enough to get inside Rewild's space. So there's a, a great strategy out, but implementing it for 30 minutes of a quarter is difficult. Yeah, it looks like the Tigers have got started now. Edwards tried to dab the pass, but they're on guard back there. Jack wanted another one long and deep there. It's probably a little bit too far to reach him in a one-on-one. -on -one. Williams to Ward. He's having trouble getting into the game. You think these conditions would suit him. But in, once again, well read by Williams, who... Came into the leading lane and uh, took control. Finds Toby Green. Two minutes remaining in this opening turn. Looks like they're going to just shuffle the ball around a little bit. Ryan Griffins. Up for possession six. Back to Kennedy. He went to come this side. It's a challenging kick for, for sure, but he's up to it. He, that points Vickery and got some protection. He's happy to bounce and drive again up towards half forward. Oh, good oh. Grab, grab. And great play by Heath Shaw. Sure. That was a magnificent win one-on-one. -on -one. Set up uh, this potential shot at goal. They want it deep. They want it long. He doesn't have the shot, Cameron. He goes instead to Ward. Good space Ward. opened up and Ward was uh, running hard enough to set up got to take the shot now. A minute and 20, I suppose they could still muck around with it. Poor defence by Richmond though. They should have that leading lane covered up there. Damien Harvey would be disappointed with that. That right. was the only option. It was either going to go there or to the top of the goal square. So, Richmond players, slow to react. Great to see Jeremy Cameron come up, taking yeah, the mark, ripper. leading up to the ball, isn't it? Five goals, ten for Kel Ward this year, so not the best numbers behind him. Great kick though. Fantastic kick from Callum Ward. Well, this is just a great start by the GWS. Their supporters uh, up in Sydney would be sitting back thinking, well, we needed a response. We started well, looking like the eight. Then there were some injuries. Yet I think the way they're covering their defence is helping out, Brownie. Yeah, uh, yeah, it is. Well, it's helping this part, impact. isn't it? It's helping their ball flow. It's uh, and really good. A lot to see this. Jeremy Cameron, had I mentioned before, leading up at the ball carrier, taking marks. Good finish by Callum Ward. Well, the point you made about everyone just presuming the Giants were going to fall out, we know they're out of the eight, but they've got some, Matt, if they were to win this game today, they've got some other games that they can build on to potentially still make finals. There's their next four, St Kilda on the Gold Coast, Geelong are depleted, so they'll be looking to really push the Tigers today. Quick exit out of the middle by Cochin, 
Lovely bounce for Revolt, and that really helped Gordon snap away. Yeah, they have. They have, and uh, this is a big one, though, for GWS. If they can at least compete today, and uh, obviously they're aiming for the win, but if they can match it with a potential top four side like Richmond, that's a huge confidence builder. For a side that's copped a bit of a few whacks the last two or three weeks, lost a lot of experience, um, people expect them just to fall over. This will help them tremendously over the next month if they can continue this today. Shaw's kick for Whitfield. He probably could have taken that mark. Yeah, it wasn't a great effort from Whitfield. He needed to get a bit more physical on that one. Gordon, and now Scully just braced himself. Maybe not even braced himself hard enough. It was going to come the tackle. Pretty heavy tackle there by Dustin Martin. Now, this sling tackle has been much talked about the last few weeks. That was a pretty solid tackle. Obviously, the player gets up from it. And he made sure that he did the right way, I guess. Cotchen fashioned some sort of kick out of that. Grimes. Had a little bit more time on his side. His teammates were hoping for a handball. It's inside 50. Lambert. So that'll be it for the quarter. And plucky effort from the Giants. They lead by five. The Richmond fans voicing their displeasure. But this team on the road are up for the fight. And a few curses coming from the Richmond fans and players' mouths. The Giants lead by five at the MCG. We've got a contest. Middle of the ground to yell out to the next guy across the other side. The communication from these young boys has been outstanding. Great signs, Jared. When a young player, a young team is talking like that yep. and communicating like that with each other, that's usually the difference between senior sides and inexperienced sides. Well, as they get going in the second half, the eyes of the footy world are now on Richmond for a response. Let's see if it comes. Ward gets the handball to take them out to the wing. Whitfield, Shaw, as the reinforcements arrived. Our wide Jack Steele. Edwards takes him out. So many challenges throughout a season. They conquered one last week, the uh, Tigers against the Sydney Swans. All of a sudden, seven days later, that they're in a bun fight against the side they're expected to beat. Marriage gets the tap down. Steele. Toby Green with 11 disposals in the first quarter. Kennedy with eight for the Giants. Alice had 10. Hurley nine and Cochin eight for the Tigers. There's Ward getting them going. Out to Griffin. Oh, great smother. It was from Martin. Shaw hacks it forward. Coming the other way from Gordon. Cochin with the collect. Back to Martin. Starting to get into the game. Turns onto that right boot. To Lydio. Not much room from Hampton. Been quiet to Lydio too. Hasn't been able to get his hands in the ball. Two possession that first quarter. Miles three as well. So a couple of midfielders a little bit down. Clearance numbers are level at the moment. Giants have had 30 tackles to 18. Martin from the 50. Oh, almost collected. Good follow up from Griffiths. Put the big tackle on. Marchbank was up for the fight though. There's Ward. Hampton trying to stand his ground to Lydia. He's almost riding him. Greg being on Ward most of the day. Oh, the ball gets up and down and fell for Martin. Can you believe that? In the congestion, he couldn't get the right contact. And now they'll get away. Core, he's got some toe. But great persistence from Tyrone. And helps earn his team out of bounds on the fall. Alice prepared to go all the way back. Change the angle of entry. Flostone. Well, Dustin Martin coming from the ground for rest. This is the stat that they really were uh, cautious of at quarter time, guys. These uncontested marks, these easy get-out kicks for Richmond. Well, young Kennedy has put himself in the hole of air six times. He's going to get jumped on occasionally, but he's doing a good job for his team. Lambert to Edwards, inside 50. Hampton, oh, he's given away the free. It was a late call. To Lydia's ball. Certainly a touch-and-go one. Yeah, it was. Well, we see Delidio playing a little bit more time for it. Didn't have a lot of possession in the first quarter. He didn't spend much time in the midfield. Yeah, the borderline, that one. Yeah, he's kicked some big goals for the Tigers when they've needed them this year. Not quite at that point yet, but it would have been handy, wouldn't it? 
We've seen Richmond, they ended the inside 50 very quickly. They haven't been able to get their game going today, Jared. The last five or six weeks, Richmond's had a lot of uncontested possession, yep. a lot of kicking the ball around, working their way down the field. They've had to kick long a lot today, long to the contest. They have, but that is a terrific yep. mark from a young player. Good signs there and good running. Yeah, Downey, what a grab. Here's Kennedy. Ran into a bit of a roadblock, but didn't panic. Smith down the line. Tigers got the extra number here. And <laughs> fine mark by Foster. Drifting over the top and quickly swings it inboard. Ball movement speed is the key here. They haven't been able to get this man free at any stage. And this time they've got it sorted. All they need is good disposal. Uh, just a, probably a fraction of beat slower than they would have yeah. liked to be. And so now well, they've got to it. Oh, but, but you can't beat that. <laughs> no, you can't beat that from Jack in the box. And out of it, inside 50, though, they rush the kick. They're not handling the Gi Giants' defence at the present time, Tigers. They've got to reset this and start to deal with what's in front of them. What's the number one thing they need to do, then, in that resetting, Jared? I think they've got to start hitting up some targets. The long kicks in aren't hitting targets unless they've got wide jumpers on. So they need to slow it down a little bit and just uh, manufacture some goals rather than getting on the move as, with speed yeah. and kicking into the defence that has been set up beautifully, very much along the West Coast Eagles model. They need to get good ball movement speed, especially out of the back half, Jared. But once they get to the forward half, they need to have a bit more composure. Even this great grab. two on one, and yeah. it took one of the great marks of the weekend. But Jack but need to not play on there. Need to go back, show a little bit more composure, yeah. maybe square it back inside. Just take their time entering 50 for that critical money kick. You talked about the West Coast Eagles, I and mean, what, what an example for them. They've lost their key defenders, yep. given they've still got McGovern, but uh, which would be, be a handy one for the Giants to have. But they beat Richmond here just two weeks ago. Brownie, even going the other way with the Giants, just watching that last uh, mark that Boston took. Forwards just aren't coming at the ball at all. They're all trying to run backwards too far. They just need somebody to come at the ball. And that can be the Richmond style they do like there. And their forwards the running away from the ball carrier. Uh, Chalor let Cochin get away after giving the free kick way too easily. He was so disappointed in the, in the free kick being given that he forgot to man the mark. And just to elaborate on that point, good effort there. They like their forwards running away from the ball carrier to open up midfield space. Here's the missing Giants, some key players. Davis, Patful, they're all in the back line there. Haynes and Moore. Yeah, well, we know they're missing Mumford as well, but they're the ones that are... Not there from uh, the defence, making all the difference, but they're covering them pretty well right at this very moment. Cameron, the backup was good from Whitfield. He thought about giving the handball. Cameron ran away. And there was no one left to help. McCarthy against four Tigers. Did pretty well just to get a break even. Now to Lydio. The voice was good. And they come away. Bachelor setting it back into the middle. Griffiths has got Edwards scooting out this side. Revolt's ready to come up at the ball, but Edwards wasn't ready to give it to him. Griffiths. Revolt just telling Vickery to get out of my way. I want to go one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, it's a free kick to Cotchin. Oh. Ooh, I'd like to see this one again. A long way off the ball against Heath Shaw, about 80 metres from where the ball was against Trent Cotchin. That's a killer blow because they had yeah. their defence set magnificently. It was going to be really difficult to penetrate. Well, it certainly wasn't going to make the Trent and Cochin contest, was it? No, 80 metres no, away, Jerry. But away. he does make you nervous. He's a very good one-on-one -on -one play inside Ford 50. Well, here's the shot from the skipper. And he's popped it through. Tigers in front. For the first time today. Oh, that's a heartbreaker. She was off the ball a long way. And you're going to see the double up here. It was actually against the Rosie. Downey. 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 There's no need for it. He was trying to help his teammate here. He sure had copped a block, so he's obviously trying to help Cochin. Stop Cochin. Cochin up to 12 disposals now. Did you love those ones, Jerry? Oh. Just to get you rolling into the game, onto the scoreboard. What a uh, momentum change of potentially. Let's see how uh, the Giants respond and the Tigers. Vickery, bit of volleyball going on. Nice hands from Griffin. Griffin Scully, Shield, Hampton. Just his second game this year, Curly Hampton. So he'll be relishing the opportunity to get back into this team.
Good to see him back in. He's got enormous potential. Great uh, play to watch. Plenty of excitement. That's a dangerous kick, but if you've got good kicking skills, you can take those kicks. Two and Shield up to eight disposals now. March Bank. I like Kennedy on the outer side. Looks up with Buntine. High ball. McCarthy. Well, got it. Play of this kid. Takes the front spot. Dropped his opponent off. At a reference point with Ty Vickery in front of him, just slid in front of him. And he's uh, pulled down a very nice contested mark. Well, well, he, he comes did. because Dylan Shields set up the kick from the midfield with a really uh, high, high, I guess, wrist kick into the middle. Jared, yeah. really poor from Vickery. That's the second big one-on-one -on -one that he's missed. He had Lee Shaw down here on the wing and then another chance there to really do some damage. So have a look at the replay in a moment as McCarthy's on his way and that's... That's a couple that have really gone begging for the Giants. It is, but they're going to happen at both sides. We saw the Lidios. It's a slippery ball. No goals are certainly until it's through. Hooley. Well, that was a mark. Yeah, I think he might have dropped it a bit old. Hunts the road by Vickery, and they pounce. Edwards was hunted down by Hampton. That impacted the kick. Well done from Core just to get a fist in. Gordon was ready. Revolt stuck out the back, Jack, into the pocket. And he'll try and spin through Buntai, which he did effortlessly. Uh, brilliant play from the Tigers, in particular Rewald. Stiff the call because he left his man. He nearly killed a really attacking play from the Tigers. But got to make that tackle, Robbie. Got to make that tackle, doesn't he, Jared? Spot on. Good Big body. The young fella. Can he go back and slot this one? Didn't go for the hips. New Rewald. The only place he could go was go back inside. To Lydia, seven goals. For the season, make it eight now. Double dagger there for the Giants. Going to have to respond to that one. McCarthy at one end and then really swift turnaround. Maybe it was the mung that came off uh, the boys of uh, Hooley. But let's have a look at the commentary cam. You can just see the crossing of the ball. And this, this is just a fantastic move. Stops, spins outside of the tackle, centers the ball. <laughs> that is a difficult kick across yeah. the body, Joe. Brilliant play, Tigers, and Rewald. I love that kick off the instep. Not many right footers can pull that off. Usually only left footers can pull that one off, but not bad effort from the big full forward. His work rate's been terrific all year. Back in the middle, you can see the inside 50 count now. Starting to build. 23 plays, 16. Leon Cameron would be pleased with so much, but he'd be disappointed to have given up those goals at the start of this term. Martin, as Richmond look to advance even further. This bloke's lifted for Yeah, he has. Alice has to backtrack. Hampered. Oh, they weren't really sure where to go from there. Kevin Smith throwing his weight around. On Taylor Hunt. Well, guys, we showed that pressure gauge at quarter time for the Giants at 210. Well, it's gone down to 167. So, look, spoke about they need to bring that pressure for that second quarter. Right now, they just haven't brought it. March back to the all had an opportunity. Highball. Miles. Fell into his lap. Shaw's reading it magnificently. He's got to the right spot here, Shaw. Careful on the way out. Oh, Green didn't come at the ball. Miles is reading it better. Cotchen, ready for the next one. Oh. He's pushing his luck there, Heath Shaw. He's very frustrated with that kick in, uh, with Toby Green down there, guys. That's just uh, a three-on-one situation. You've got to think that's the kick they've got to think through. Yeah. Well, there's no need to go wide there, Jim. You're in a really good spot. The point of the, the point of the centre square. Try and look a bit more central there. Instead, yeah. he goes out of the boundary in a three-on-one against. If you're going to kick it to a contest, you might as well make sure you've got the same numbers. You might as well go to the top of the goal yeah. square. Whitfield, Scully being forced very wide here. Enjoying a very good season, Tom Scully. Missed last week or their last match. So that one falls well short. Some bad signs here for uh, the Giants. Good signs for the Tigers. Starting to split this game open and getting it back on their terms. Hurley running hard. And this man really getting away from the ball. That's a shocking kick, though, 
for Kotchin. Shaw takes it. He's got an opportunity with his opponent going to ground to capitalise further. Not a very direct kick. He didn't have a lot down the ground. No, it's a good kick out. Oh, he had nothing there. And that's out of the fall, I reckon. Oh, that oh, was good. Oh, He's oh, very oh. lucky down here, boys. Very oh, you could have caught that move. The boundary umpires sort of looked at each other, though. They were blinded. Yeah, well, Gordon and found a way out anyway, the Tigers. Hurley. Hunt plays it back. Miles. This is outstanding ball movement. The handiwork is superb through the middle. Newman. Rebound in his sights on the bounce. He's got Ward to beat, a little unusually. Well done, Ward, getting back with the reinforcements for the Giants. Just goes to highlight once again. If you hit a target, the Tigers are kicking a goal. Newman's hit a million targets in his career. Just needed that one. Big Downey getting into the right spot. This is for Williams. Asking a fair bit of their teammates out there in the wing, but it was drifting through to Scully. Handball to steal. Had Palmer out to his left, but he's got more direct options. They could just raffle it there, the two key forwards for the Giants. And Cameron can shoot for goal. Right on, good effort there. Jack Steele changed angles, yeah. went back a little bit more central. We haven't seen that by Richmond, have we? They've gone forward, Jerry. Yeah, they've gone pretty shallow and pretty wide, uh, particularly in this quarter. Like the look of. Uh, the relationship between McCarthy and Jeremy Cameron. It was clear that McCarthy thought he was a second fiddle there, <laughs> Brownie. That may change over the Jeremy. Pecking order, you reckon, Jerry? Well, here's the kick from Jeremy Cameron. The vital one in terms of momentum in this game. Good shape. It's online. And they're not going to go away quickly. First goal of the second term for the Giants. After Richmond kicked the first two, it remains a really tight contest here. Well done. Good effort by Jack Steele here. Squares up. Instead of going wide, he squares up. McCarthy versus Cameron there. Bit of a pecking order, maybe, as Jared has suggested. Good mark by Jeremy. Leading up the ball carry. Shown that today. And that's probably something that Richmond needs to learn a little bit about because some of their entries have been a little bit too shallow. We've seen those virtual inside 50s. Too wide. That's where they're landing the ball, the Richmond inside 50s, and just not direct enough. You'd like to see that a lot more landing at the top of the goal square, certainly within 30 metres around that front arc to goal. Jeremy Cameron will be pleased with that goal. He hasn't got a great record against the Tigers in terms of goals. Probably the worst against any club for him. Vickery gets them in smartly, the Tigers, but Griffin on guard takes the grab. And they've been forced wide because of the way that the Giants have set up their defence. On that occasion, now it was just three one-on-one -on -one defenders. And uh, the Giants kept their feet. The Tigers went to ground. Oh, Whitfield gave Alice a look, but she was happy to take. Newman, they can build. Often defenders out of position from the turnover. Revolt. Griffin is desperate today. And he's having a terrific day. Back of the MCG, and he's uh, having a blinder at the moment. They have worked off their men to get a two-on-one better than I've ever seen them before. Downey, Ward having his difficulties with Greg, but Green was there to assist. And usually when you're seeing a lot of pointing and directing out there, obviously we can't hear the players, Jared, yep. but it's a really good sign of the instruction amongst each other. Something you don't often see from really young sides. Well, I was talking to their chairman, Tony Shepard, during the week, who was basically saying the club needs them to respond. And I think right now, he'd be pretty happy with uh, what they're seeing. Whitfield's been prominent. He's had six disposals, seven disposals in this quarter. Here's Williams. Rain just starting to get a little bit heavier down here, Hutto. So conditions have gone from bad to probably a bit worse. <laughs> and then lose or draw, it's not about so much the result for this group coming through. The, the wins are going to come, but I mean, when, as we see the rain now, uh, starting to really bucket down, when you get uh, hit with some negatives like the injuries, you can either, you know, you know basically uh, hang your boots up and uh, sit in a corner like a mangy dog, or you can fight out of it and have a decent crack, and that's what we're seeing today. Shield, lightning through the middle. Scully to half forward. McCarthy, oh, he got to just the right spot. The ball just slipped through his hand. That's a free kick to the Tigers. Well, surely. Batchelor, he's going to be going holding the ball now. And surely, if, if, it, if it wasn't in the back, it, it had to be something. Because he dived on it. Had to be something. Had a little bit each way there, the umpire. 
Maybe being a bit more forgiving in these uh, wet conditions. Vickery gets the tap down. Palmer trying to sweep through. Well, he's this gonna, time. Yeah, oh, the umpire said, no, keep going. So they did. Trelaw, Shield, back to Trelaw. Scully. Rance. Eyes on it all the way, but under the conditions. Spent it. Spent it. Yeah, interesting one. Like, Troy Chapman did a really good job. No free kick here in the back. Probably slid over the top of there. Maybe a free kick against. Then we see the late one. Jack Steele comes over the top. No, I'm with the umpires there. Retraction there. Good decision. Got it right. Kick from Taylor Hunt. Griffiths, no mark. He's caught one. It's good work from Griffiths. Griffiths too, guys. He did his work early. Got Marsh back on the back foot before he went for that mark, so got himself that little bit of space. And works. There's an element of danger in the kick. Lost Hunt turns, goes short. Taylor Hunt. So it's bit by bit on the way out. Pato Griffiths coming off here, holding yeah. his left arm shoulder. Yeah, he got hurt in that last contest against Marchbank. Martin. Now they can advance further than halfback, perhaps. Of course, it agrees your conditions, Moons. The more difficult it is to play this possession footy, but they're doing it pretty well. Spot on, Joe. I mean, this is what they do so well. Uh, again, this is what Giants don't want them to do. You just... Taking such of the pressure without coming straight off if you allow them these easy marks, especially going through the middle of the ground. Yeah, and that was a good kick. Could have been the catalyst for an entry into the 50. This is the one that counts now, though. They're set up to win this one back. They've got all the numbers back behind the ball. And they're all up. Who's down? Marriage. Cochin. Bit of a fumble. Scully released it. Cause kick went nowhere. Hampton's kick. Back to a one on three, but the one won it. And that was Smith. Showed him a clean pair of heels, brought it into the middle to steal. Scully's on the bike and charging. Needs to be used. Can he mark it? Oh, no. Rance, like Rance does so often, made the ball his intention and got it out of there. Now it's going to come back, though. Smith tries to wind it up for the Giants. Oh, Revolt's got him in his sights. Quick left foot. It was just that. It was quick and not that well directed. Steal, though. Tries to make the running. Shield. Carves a left foot kick. And they'll yeah. take that. Yeah, well, well. Great defence by Alex Rance. Well, he's, Not he's sure the some, kick was there, but he's in uh, some trouble there too, Jared. He's just getting in the hands of the doctors now. He needed to make it too because Jeremy Cameron ran off the bench and had a match up against Basha Hooley. So well done by Rance. Well, he was coming from the ground, but he's just stayed out there for the moment. We'll keep an eye on that Scully feeding green. Lots of handball, and then Hampton with the kick. Little circuit breaker, perhaps. Archbank has drifted down. Just beyond him, he gets up, limping. It's a bit of a torrid affair at the moment. Gives it to Shaw. Cameron leading into the pocket. He goes shorter to Griffin. He's within range. Certainly on a dry day. Maybe didn't have the shot. Down he drifting. Flipped it back. Hurley. The peril hasn't passed yet. It's bouncing around. Here's Ward. Trelaw. Great setup. And brilliantly finished this talent-laden young team showing us something. I see Alex Rance. It's an interesting one. Top of the screen here. Just see you now he makes a really good decision. Comes forward to defend. He's on his own there. Bit of a clash of heads there with Tom Scully. He's a little bit sore. But see this by the GWS guys. They're able to keep the ball alive. Good work by Ward to get it to Trelaw. We'll start a little bit earlier by Downey who stopped it from going through the points. Well done. Kept it back in play. Put some pressure on the Richmond defenders. And a good finish. Guys, Alex ran straight back onto the field here. Just got a little bit of a blood rule. Just got fixed up. He's back on now. He's okay. Trelaw the goal kicker. And the Giants, as Ward was disposed with, Giants are in front. Well done, Edwards. Setting up Hooley. They're on their way again. Gordon. Couldn't get where he wanted to. So they had a couple off there with Griffiths as well off the ground. Griffiths has gone underneath too, Hutto. He's getting that, getting that left shoulder looked at. Maybe, maybe strapped again, I'd say. Ward again with a guided third up. For Griffin and then Green. They do. Coming forward really well today, Jeremy Cameron. It does seem a distinct change, doesn't it? Yeah. 
Well, this helps sets up his ability to be able to get in behind the defenders. He needs to lead up to the ball carrier, Hutter. Risky kick. Steal. Scully didn't do a bad job. Yeah, there was no the percentage in that kick. It was a no. four on one. The one was in the middle of the four. He was a second gamer. Got to play the conditions a bit too, Jared. Yep. Hooley for Taylor Hunt. When this rain comes, you need to be aware of it. That's where you need good leadership out in the field. Play the percentages long down the line. If in doubt, knock it out of bounds. Start again. Greg. Justin Martin, his ninth disposal of the quarter coming up. Delidio set. Gee, that's a good work, oh, that? that was a great mark. <laughs> he's got good marking prowess for a mid, well, who was essentially a midfielder. Yeah. We know he's been so much more than that, played in so many different places. He deserves a goal, that mark. Goes out wide to give him a bit more leverage on the kick. It's right on the line. Oh. Touched. That would have been one of the best mark and goal combinations yeah. we've seen all year, Jared, wouldn't we? No doubt. Toby Green. Tell me you. Bit of a spit. Hopefully that didn't land on him. Not sure about that one. Cochin goes short to Greg. And then to Hunt. Got Hooley on his left. Ignored him. Went to full forward instead. Vickery. He almost bypassed a lot of them. Creeps through for it behind. Well, coming into this match, the Giants would have absolutely been praying for rain and would have loved the fact that it was raining. Vickery's at, having no real influence was overhead marks. Griffiths off the ground. Ivan Marrick hasn't gone forward. The only bloke who's taken overhead marks is Delivio. They've got a pretty tall defence as well, haven't they, Jared yeah. Richmond? I like the look of Downey. He got a little handball into Scully there. Williams over balance, but didn't he regain his poise straight away? New steal on the way through. Could have given to Green. Decides to slide it up to McCarthy. Great work, great boy. McCarthy walked back towards goal against Bachelor. Palm is there. Back towards the kicker. And it's Green, the delicate pass. It's going to be tough for Toby from the pocket. It's good running, wasn't it, Hutto, there? You see Green ran from a long way away, probably 100 metres upfield. Now, Toby's had six boomerang kicks today. This is the time to pull it out, Toby. <laughs> Plenty of practice. Just go back. Won't swing as much given that it's a wet ball. If you just aim at that far goal post. It's a good numbers too. 16 possessions. Four tackles, six contested possessions. He's working really hard in the midfield. Yeah, on the drop part. So you should from here, Oregon Joe. So Toby Green. Ten goals for the year. He misses there. Yeah, I was a boomerang man from that spot, Brownie. I've got to say, just uh, hit it hard at the far goal post, and if you can get that right, the swing of the ball oh, makes it pretty reasonable uh, that you'd expect a good result. Alice to a one on one. Again, hoping that Delidio's marking ability right. would have been advantageous, but he gives up the free. Kennedy dealing it around. Here's Cal Ward. Revised his decision, eventually, the entry. Uh, maybe need to think well, that's once time. again Jeremy Cameron going back, yeah. and well, they expected him to come forward. He did lead forward, but then he doubled back. It was a poor decision by the kicker. Yeah, Chaplin. I reckon he might have, uh, to be fair to the midfield, I know you're looking after the forwards, Brownie, but I reckon he's put his head down seeing the forward move. Yeah, yeah. You yeah, can defend your respective parts of the field, boys. <laughs> Vickery goes to half forward. He's short. Break He's up. done that a few times yeah, over the years. He had, but I thought uh, Jeremy Cameron had decided to break off the lead. The kicker needs better awareness there. Needs to play the conditions and kick it longer to the top of the goal square. I thought that's what uh, Cameron was doing to set up Lance to try and get him to turn around and go back towards goal. Short to bunt time. And the siren sounds here at the MCG. Plucky performance by the Giants. A, they're in front, but B, Richmond came out strongly at the start of that second term, and the Giants were able to respond. It is, as you can see by the scoreline, an extraordinarily low-scoring contest. 3-7-25 to 4. But where they're kicking the balls from at goal, uh, not central enough, and obviously lowers his percentages to kick an accurate score. Well, you, you mentioned there, Jared, four games at the MCG, just one win. Yeah. They've had some great wins on the road. They've got, I think, eight games here. Between now and the end of the season, here's Cochin getting them going. They were able to recalibrate things last week at half time against Sydney. Come out with a 
a plan that worked for them so they'll be hoping for something similar here well the one thing i think they've got to equilibrate is the men in their forward line they can't be i think kicking it into an outnumbered situation all the time and the way the giants are setting up has been quite superb another boomerang they're practicing them <laughs> rants oh smith's timing was absolutely perfect he didn't try and pick it out the second time maybe in retrospect hindsight he could have bachelor back to alice still with some issues quite the pressure though yeah they bought it as they did at the start of the game rounded up by whitfield back to downing continues to impress smith will he be tempted from there well you spot on about downey he's been uh, most impressive and this bloke brings his effort every week we like devon smith he's uh, a multi-faceted player like all small forwards though he does enjoy kicking one mm -hmm. it's a big kick jared it is way, this yeah. could really uh, start to cause some doubts in the minds of the tiger players seven disposals for the day now he's on his way with a big kick. Uh, Would have liked to have seen that go to the top of the goal square a lot quicker. Jared, not really playing the percentages there with a wet ball. Certainly gave a, a plenty of momentum. And probably even too much running in pretty quickly. Hurley, his 16th disposal. Half back tough for victory. Well done, Miles and Greg. Now Cochin. As they get to the wing, it's into Lydio's hands, hoping for Gordon. Got to get past March back. Here's Revolt. Again, he found himself one on one with the fledgling youngster. I think they'll take that. Be able to equalise the numbers now. There's a two on three. Revolt did well, got it across the line. And now they can uh, set their press and try and hold it in. Downey, Marich. Little give from Ward. Griffin winds his way through. Cameron knew he had to go. He put the little bit of the shove on Rance. Couldn't take the ball. Rance and Batchelor can't work it out. Just got to kick away. Smith, Griffin there to help. Miles has dragged it in, and he knew that. He had to get it moving. He does. Hooley. So bobbles forward. Revolt one on one. Bontine takes to the ball but then doesn't take the mark revolt with the give from the 50 the poking kick is good for Cochin. midfielders midfielders from the giants just did not push down hard enough on that occasion they've both lined up on the mark griffin and trelaw they were observing they were spectating and their effort has got to be there every minute if they're going to play that sort of game well, there we go, Trent Cotchin. Been the hallmark of his game the last couple of weeks, leading by example, hasn't yes, Jared? He's been brilliant. No more important act than this one today. Kicked a free goal last week, didn't he, in the third term, which really got them going. And unfortunately, the Empire stays down for that one. It's a minor score. Probably a bit of kryptonite for him, the uh, set shot goal kicking. Yeah. And that is the thing with a wet ball, too. You have to give it a little bit extra day, and quite often the guys hook it. He showed the misses at the start of this quarter, and they continue there. Griffin punches it out to half back. Oh, wow. McCarthy had a free reign. He couldn't drag it in. Magnificent handball from Revolt to Hooley and an easy mark on the chest for Delidio. Well, he had two options there and he picked out Delidio. And this one has just got to go through. Got to find a way. Not happy who's short. So close, isn't it? Uh, yeah, McCarthy taking the big fly, almost grabbed it. Here it is again. He's doing a lot of break the ball. He's not just a mark and kick player now, Jack Rewell. It's working its way back, but not enough. Two misses by two of their leaders, Cotter and Delidio, within a minute. He's averaged 29 disposals per game against the Giants in the four games. They've never lost to GWS, but Delidio now playing a almost permanent forward role. Marchbank was a target on the way out. Miles, Marich, they've worked it to 50. Quick change of mind by Gordon was, well, it looked good. It was almost produced in Edwards Mark. It does produce Cotchin to Martin to goal. And they're in front, the Tigers. Well, they're just holding back the tide there. Leon Cameron will be frustrated. 
because there were opportunities to maintain possession. But great stuff by the Tigers, just kept on holding the ball in. And uh, just a succession of handball chains. There's a chance for a mark. He rose it particularly well, Miles. He's a really class act that's come into the game late. And actually worked particularly well, that little control of the ball by Edwards. Just dropped it in the feet of the skipper. Martin with the rest. Good leadership here. Trent Cotchen, he's been involved a lot, especially in the forward half. 13 of his 20 possessions uh, have came in the forward part. Sorry. That 13 of his possessions have been in the forward half of the ground, which is a real strength. Tigers narrowly up in the contested possessions. A lot Griffin across this half back line. I've got the feeling he's producing his best game ever for the uh, Giants. Smith with a good driving ball inside 50. Whitfield just drifting across, casually takes the mark. And now thinks about what to do with it. Here's a nice long kick. But... Well done, Jeremy Cameron, too, there. He could see him out of uh, the corner. The peripheral vision was working. Didn't smash into his own player. He just shepherded and guided him in. That's this unique little stance before he starts his run up. And now he's on his way. And again, both teams leaving a a lot of goals out there. Very deliberate approach, wasn't it? Like Plugger Lockerty yeah. a slow walk. Interesting start of his routine. Might get another chance here. Not quite. Rance. Yeah, his handheld play. Oh, no. He needed to get it to Alice. Andrew Long was the haven. So often you serve the overcorrection players run out on the arc. Wide at trying to get some set triple or force into that kick. And they always pull it a bit. Too far, Jared. Yeah. They go too far off the line. Rolled over the top, Alice. They worked really hard here, GWS, to keep the ball in their forward 50. Set up the wall behind. Need some good organisation from the players around the ball. Shield can't fight his way out of there, at least not yet. This is good. This is good by the Giants. They had to build the pressure. The more stoppages inside 50, the more the pressure builds on Richmond. Ward again. It's as if he's the rapper. There we go. Quite often you see multiple stoppages in the fourth 50. Opposition players get nervous. Give away a free kick. Dylan Shield has the responsibility of converting here. Disposals today. First shot at goal coming up. Was the... oh, gee, there wasn't a lot in it. It's all about the kick. So many others have failed today, and he joins that list for the set shots that have gone amiss. It was pretty good. It was a pretty straight run up at one, so I certainly can't blame that on a poor run up. Just a little bit off. 4 9 to 4 8. If in doubt, get it out of there. Long kick to Vickery. Did well, Vickery. And good work here by the Tigers. Good structure. Oops of numbers there. Won the ball. All they need to do is hit the target long. Didn't look like he'd seen his man down the line, but eventually he finds Gordon, who hesitates on the 50. Wasn't lost completely, though. Edwards, Ellis. I'm not sure if he was having a shot or passing. But... Jack Rewalt with the arms in the air as well, saying... What are you doing to me? Kick it to me. Just like maturity, though, good. He was, he played on because of adrenaline rather than because it was the right thing to do. Good, de good desperation by the Giants to get back there. Oh, Palmer just left a fraction early. Great challenge coming up for the Tigers. We're really interested to see how they try and solve this problem. They're going to be a serious team. They're going to have to solve bigger problems in this one. This needs to go to the top of the goal square. Greg sets it up. Edwards comes with a run and jump. He didn't fly in the end. Left it for Vickery. Didn't end well for the Tigers. Scully. It's going to be a big kick remote needed here. Cameron one-on-one -on -one with Grimes. He's drawn the free. Huge result for the Giants because there was Tigers everywhere. He's on the praise of Tyrone Vickery over the last few weeks. Been in, for my career, best form. But now that it's not all falling for him, this is the time for him to find something and uh, get an impact on that scoreboard. Kick to the wing. Down he was just held down. And Rance coming over the top couldn't take the mark. 
Talk about victory, Jared. Even that last one there, when the ball was kicked out from fullback, he just competed. That's all he had to do. The first half, he wasn't competing when the ball's in the end. It's not going to be a day where he's going to take six or seven big marks and kick three or four goals. He just needs to compete, bring the ball to ground. Yeah, 100% with you. Just needs to lift his involvement, lift his energy. Williams. Gee, that's a gutsy kick. It was. And it comes to Sander, taken beautifully he's by Hooley. And he's got it, Vickery. He hangs on. You get your chances. If you keep working, you get your chances. You go back, slot it. Others haven't been able to. He gets an opportunity. Probably the kick uh, from the Giants was too extreme. It wasn't on. Not enough high percentage there. There it is. It's just not going to hit that target. And that creates the opportunity for the turnover. That's a challenge with the young players, Jared. Quite often they keep trying to play an attacking, aggressive game style. They don't, I suppose, change their style with the conditions. It is wet out here. Ty Vickery, been a real strength of his as his set shot goal kicking. That was a mischievous <laughs> thing to say, Brandon. <laughs> oh, it happens every time, doesn't it? 4-11 to 4-8. Damien Hardwick is biting down hard on that drink bottle. Well, I think what we uh, are seeing is this game is going to be alive right in the last few minutes. No one's breaking this apart. Toby Green goes short on time. No evidence of it to date anyway. The Tigers really making it difficult. They have got a magnificent uh, zone set up. On time. Hoping for Lobb or Downey. Caught in the cross. Chaplin tightens the screws. Just a great challenge for the Tigers on their way through up the ladder. You've got to unravel some difficult sort of problems that are thrown at you. And right now, this is a problem for them. They're not going away, the Giants. Scully. But if they're serious, if they're going to be seen as a top six, potentially higher side, which is on the back of the Swans' victory, they were entitled to, I think, believe they were capable of doing. They've just got to find four points here, Brownie. Yeah, they do, they do. And uh, we've shown they can match against the very best oh, side. He's, he's reported, he's reported merits for striking here. Yeah, I'm not sure. First look at that, I don't think he's got much to worry about there. I think that was definitely full. I don't think he knew trying, he was coming in the play. He was, well, he was trying to block Jack Steele out, so he threw the arm out as a block, but a little bit over Salas Ray Chamberlain in well, he was booking the, him there. Marriage was the ruckman. I mean, it was an unusual situation there. Well, that's right. He's got all rights to block the, the third man in. Williams finds Trelaw hunting for Cameron. He's come hard at the ball again. He's playing Rance very well, and he gets that opportunity. McCarthy doubling back to the square. He's playing a very unnatural game for him mm. as well. This is a... If he can continue to do this, he just comes such a better forward. A delicate yeah. little kick, and he can't execute it. A bit of a brain fog there. Cotchin takes the mark. He's been a fine leader today for Richmond. Again, that's playing the conditions, Joe. You need to go along to the top of the goal score of this wet ball. And he's kicked to an out number as well. It was Cameron getting back to assist, and they've got it in their hands again. Scully not mucking around. Richmond with the extra body. Hurley couldn't. Palmer. And does, and they're back in front. Well, he knows where the goals are, Reese Palmer. It was good. He attacked the inside 50 with that kick, didn't they, Jared? It puts the yep. Richmond defenders under pressure. Long lands at about 30 metres out. Anything can happen as long as you get the ball to the ground. It's a lottery here. Reese Palmer in a good position. Really good finish. That's what Jeremy Cameron needed to do in the previous kick inside 50. Well, it's a good effort by the Ruckman. He really didn't do much except throw a couple of hands in there and brought the ball to ground. Big of aim. You see here, just box Jack still is reported for that. Now, it was a bit of a, a big elbow, a big elbow, but he was trying to lay a block, and that's how you do lay a big heavy block. Got him high. You think he's got something to worry about there, Jeremy? Well, based on that uh, vision. He's got some questioning that he's going to but, answer. But he certainly didn't... I'm not saying it's deliberate, but... No, no, that's right. It was, it was probably in the reckless category, wasn't it? Cotchin doing his level best to get this Tiger team going. He just needs some more followers. Right now, Martin about to be restrained. Edwards 
Revolt ready to leap into the sky at the MCG. Just couldn't drag it down. Gives them a chance at the back. Williams high. Just Lambert getting a little bit excited. It's played a good game, this kid. Playing very well. Palmer, it's a little nudge along the way. Jack was that close to taking a big hanger too, wasn't he? He was. Short to Ward. His influence has been restricted. Just the ninth disposal coming up for Cal Ward. Ryan Griffin's had 17 disposals. Shield and Scully, 14 each. And Griggs got a pretty good job on Ward. Yep. Whitford and Chalor with 13 each. Nice mark by Lobb to feed it through to Palmer, who's been influential. So is this man, Smith. He had Trelaw on offer, but he's gone short to Scully. Good build up there by the Giants. Very clean, wasn't it? Well, Smith had the option of a handball on or hit up the leading target. He took the leading target. Do you think it was the right call? I did in the end. I if you can get yourself a set shot at goal, Terrell was only going to end up running into uh, the deeper part of the pocket. So many have had a shot and missed today. Scully's nursed this one back. And he's hit the target. And that is a match-high lead for the Giants at nine points. Yes, the game's poised, isn't it? On a knife's edge here, Richmond would certainly be a little bit worried. Really good, clean build-up. The ball's quite wet out there at the moment, so we haven't seen a lot of this in the last half an hour, especially. Well thought out here by Reese Palmer, but a good crossover there by Devin Smith. With a wet ball, that is a really, really difficult kick. This is even more difficult to go back and kick straight from 50 out with a wet ball. Tom Scully's first. In a low-scoring game, this lead is actually a lot more than it that looks in relative terms. And the Tigers be well pleased with that. Delidio makes the break out of the middle. Could have gone for Alice. He's gone for Revo on the long kick. He's drawn the free. Advantage paid. Not sure if Jack's happy or sad. But he's pleased that the Tigers have kicked it. Nathan Gordon's happy. Well, there's been very few soft goals in the game today. That was one of them. It's looked to be a pretty fair contest. One time's off the ground, so Aiden Core, the man who conceded all those goals, one on one with him last year, got back together with Jack Revo and has given away the free. Conceded seven goals in about 40 minutes last year. So, look, that's the contest. We saw it last year when Richmond were prepared to go to Rewalt one on one, get it in long and deep. He's going to be able to expose any quality defender. It's actually one of the few times that Jack's been in a one-on-one. -on -one. They've covered off so well today, but it was the quick exit outside of the middle for Delidio that uh, got the ball in there and disrupted their defence. And another centre clearance. Here come the Tigers. And one time they've been on Rewind for most of the days. Back on him now. Oh, momentum swinging viciously one way and then the other. Here's Williams, as Jared mentioned, been handy. Back in defence. Steele was under the pump. Tigers gathering here. Hunt or oh, Miles through his fingers. No real time to recover properly. Gets it back to Hunt. Smith put the head down. Alice couldn't capture him and they've got out. Hampton back to Trelaw. They glide along the wing. Palmer's in his left pocket. He didn't see him. Goes into the middle instead. Downey guiding Cameron. You think he'll take it the way he's been going today? That was a great kick from Downey. He missed Reese Palmer, who came off the bench and was just charging with his hand in the air. It was that high, he nearly dislocated his shoulder, but he didn't quite uh, see him. But it was a terrific clearance from uh, the stoppage here on centre wing. His hands have been good today, Jeremy Cameron. They've been terrific. It's a different Jeremy Cameron that we're seeing. So often with uh, seeing him just run forward to expose the space behind, but this makes him a much more dangerous player. He's only had six possessions, Jared, but it's been a really valuable six possessions, giving him a good target. He's let up the ball carrier. He's taken marks on the lead. He comes in, and that's going to work its way back. Oh, hits the post. He's had a nice sort of draw to it, too. Guys, the subs been made down here for Richmond, Camden, McIntosh. I just see that Benny Griffith off with the red vest. That shoulder obviously hasn't come up after half time.
So there's the shoulder. Do you think that's structural as well, potentially, that move, boys? It wouldn't hurt them at the moment. Their tools haven't been uh, having any real influence. Oh, Ward came in. Rance. Here's Ward. Kicked a big goal earlier. As we said, he's found it hard to have too much influence other than as a third man up. But uh, that would have been a handy one. Giants lead is at four at the moment. Look at Damien Hardwick. He's like a caged tiger in there. Frustrated head, just shaking. Well, he knows what's at stake here. When you win against Sydney, you set your season up. You don't want to give uh, the four points straight back. Yeah, straight into the action there. Yeah, South McIntosh. And time takes it over the line. And this was really never going to be any easy conquest if the Giants came with a positive attitude. They're sitting pretty nicely in the eight themselves. And, you know, I think a lot of people have considered they've given up the ghost for the season. Well, clearly, they've repositioned uh, themselves through the break, and they're here to re-establish themselves as a force. Shield, Edwards. <laughs> Given what happened to Gold Coast last year once they lost Ablett, eh? It would, it would be a fine achievement if they can get some wins. And a win today would be just massive. As we showed earlier, we've got some other winnable games coming up. Shield beckoning on some of the lead. Lobs in the mix, got past them all. Cameron flicked it over. And it's got through. Palmer. He's taken off the long sleeves. And kicked a critical goal, and that's three for Reese Palmer. He's been terrific, hasn't he? See the first free now. Shane Edwards rolls over onto the back. Finally, the umpire decides to make pay the free kick. But you see here, the Giants are able to get a lot of numbers there to the ball. Richmond players let it over the back of the contest. A little scrubber through there, but what I'm liking is the follow-up. When the ball gets inside 50, a lot of Giants numbers pushing there to support. Well done, he's had a really good game, Reese Palmer. Three goals, Jared. And where's this game going to go? Ten points now, GWS. And they've out-tackled them, as those numbers suggest. Quick kick from Green. And again, the momentum changing, chopping and changing in this quarter. Who can capitalise when they've got it the most? McIntosh and some free space. It's been rare today. A bounce, a thumping kick. Some Tiger height. Vickery! That's the one they need. If you're going to go in long, you've got to get it. Contest, as you said. Cameron Moody on the boundary line. Better still, if you take a mark and go back and kick the goal, you really do impact. Well, we saw this last week with him as well. He had a really poor first half against Sydney. Came out in that second half and played like a real man as a big centre-half forward or a key forward. He's done that again this week. It was a really poor first half, I thought. Didn't compete well enough in those big contests. He's come out in this second uh, second half, sorry, and really just just stood up, made just made sure he's got to these contests here, and that's been the main thing. No goals are certainty today. We've seen enough evidence of that. Tyrone Vickery. Oh, oh. <laughs> you can hear the groan around the MCG. Look at Damien Hardwick. It's amazing he can survive the pressure so well one week and the next week he can't survive it at all. Shows how much goal kicking is a confidence thing. Nothing to do with technique. Fisted oh. back by Marich. We saw the Pies pay a heavy price last night for the same thing. Miles to Martin as they try and reset. Ellis. She's a pressure's good. Yeah, they're being forced back and back. Oh, that was an interesting handball from Scully. Crowd on this side of the ground certainly asking the question. Williams takes the mark. Just been ferocious with their tackling and pressure. And the Tigers are struggling to respond. Toby Green, his 21st disposal coming up. First into the 20s for the Giants. Along the wing. Too easy for Whitfield. Oh, broken the line. And his teammates were onto it too. They were red alert. Charging forward, Scully. Trelaw doesn't go for goal. Goes for McCarthy. Oh, he fumbled at the critical moment. And the ball just slipping out of his hand. Well, I reckon they'll go back to the tape there. And they should go back to the tape and say, OK, where have we stuffed this up? Well, Scully's got the ball. He's a really good left foot kick. He handballs it to Trelaw. There's a right foot kick. Trelaw should have come forward and shepherded for Scully to take the space. And he should have maintained that ball and kicked it. Martin, oh, that is... Oh, it's out of the fourth. It didn't need to be called deliberate. 
Devin Smith. We've seen him be capable of the mercurial at times. There's one more before three to quarter time. He's asking for, he said to Ray, well, if I go any further, I'm in the crowd. <laughs> and he just edge around, there we go. Makes his own rules, Devin Smith. Oh, what a goal. And kicks it. Enjoys a big moment, Devin Smith, and make no mistake, that was a really big moment. This group now believe they can win, Brownie, and that's going to make the Tigers' task that much harder. That's right, and to me, the Richmond players look like they're certainly lacking run and energy over there. We saw the play there before where Scully was able to get the handball out the front, and they were able to just run away from the Richmond midfielders. See this, Dustin Martin, not sure what he was thinking there. That was going nowhere but about the 20th grade. What a finish by Devin Smith. But the orange tsunami, Jared. It's back to tsunami. It's turned up at the uh, MCG. Cap, the coach is happy. Long way to go, though. But right now, the Tigers know it's now or never. 17 scoring shots each. But it's the Giants who lead by 15. Let's see if Richmond can respond. Buntine, Griffin. They've got the answers. They've got possession at the moment. Down to the last two and a half of the third term. Whitfield. Take something off the kick. Great. They experienced a lot of pain at the MCG. I think they've only had the one win out of nine yep. goes. And it was last year, from memory, they played against Hawthorne in similar circumstances. Hawthorne, obviously, the Premiers, though. Came and so close that day. They no. came awfully close after a horrible belting the week before. And yet they weren't able to do it. This is now a much more mature side. Another 12 months and 20-odd games into the boys. And they've got a fair bit more know-how. March back. Down the line. Chaplin in front. Who's it going to be for the Tigers? Who's going to lift for the Tigers? How big has Palmer been in this game? Again, influential. Shield. It's a one-on-one. -on -one. It's Cameron. It's Rance. Free kick. And it's a free kick. Brilliantly played. Just watch this guy. If you're a young defender, watch how Rance positions himself. He's got good body strength. And he always keeps the player away from the goal. Dustin Martin had to go. He knew it. A fumble again at the front of the pack by Miles. Edwards did well to get it to Martin, but then it was all very rushed. So again, that defence is just held up. March back. Back to Griffin, who continues to amass possessions. He's 20th. Averaging 18. 0.5 possessions a game against the Tigers, which is the lowest of any club. But he's having a good day today. Up to half forward, Cotchen out the back. Frostone had to sum it up quickly. The skipper rushed it onto the boot. Martin tried to protect it against March Bank, and he does. Gets up, has a look down the line. Delidio's there for him. It's pretty much one on one down the line if he kicks it far enough. Short. Sure comes off his opponent and does it well again it's been the secret to their great defense tonight players working together coming off their opponent realizing when your opponent is not in a dangerous zone and heading towards the fall of the ball 18 seconds again down he allowed to dictate got the tap down at Trelaw Twelve seconds now. Griggers the third. Cotchen. A lot of hands on knees here by the Richmond players. A few guys that are tired. Not a lot of pointing and directing. It's been a, a high scoring quarter with four goals through to two five. It's gone the Giants way. Their lead extended to 15 points. And it's boiling over, but the frustrations for the Tigers here at the MCG. If you're going to have a push and shove, now's the time to do it. There's no shot of goal on that stake. Oh, I, love the the way you, I love the way you think, Jared. <laughs>
The challenge is a great one now for Richmond. This team that was so heroic last week against Sydney, they've got to do it again. They trailed by 15 as we head to the last quarter. Stay with us at the MCG. Jared, to be a genuine chance, they lose today, they're not going to be a top four team. I think Richmond fans will be pleased to see what they saw from Damien Hardwick. Now they need to see that same emotion, that same energy from the players out on the MCG on a cold, wet, wintry afternoon. It's on in this last quarter, and the Giants continue to set the trim with a big tackle, and then Ward takes it out, hoping for Smith. Smashed back by Hooley. Energy levels high. It's going which way? It's going Richmond's way. It's Martin's way, and it's into the crowd. Two in a row from Dustin Martin out of bounds. They definitely look like they had a bit more intensity. Well, there. I'm not surprised that he uh, upped the ante at three-quarter time. They've played reasonably flat footy today. There hasn't been that real energy that you'd expect in a game as important as this. Now the ball banged up to the wing. Two Ruckman are there lobbing Downey. Fisted over the boundary. Smith, Ward. I wonder how many goals GWS need to win this game and had to kick in the last quarter. Lob gets them into the 50. Just needs the boundary line, does the GWS, and they've found it. It's a three on one. I mean, it's been a low scoring game. They, they managed four goals in the third term, so it is possible to, to kick four or five goals. Even though you've kicked only five for the match, they've had many more opportunities than that, so it's, they're going to have to take every opportunity that presents. Hawley, Edwards, the pickup was great. And he wasn't quite sure what to do with it. Big ball, this one. Yeah. Martin's in there for a big contest. Core, they scramble all over it. They've got no defence of set up at all here, the Giants. If the Tigers can get it in, they'll break a line. McIntosh, Griffin off the pack. Scully and Grigg. Grigg and Scully. Both going for the flick, out to Delinio, Revolt or Vickery, you think it's Jack's ball. He didn't get it in the air. Now on the ground, Jack takes it, looking for mates. Great Finds great one. Well done there, Jack. Lambert. He kept his feet in the contest too, Hutto. So he was the back of that four-man contest at the top of the goal square. Known full well, he read the conditions well. Probably knew the ball was likely to hit the ground. He was one of the... You can see he keeps his feet first to react and summed it up really well. Instead of rushing his snap, he knew that he'd have supporting players coming down inside 50. Suck great leadership. In, suck in the pressure, absorb the pressure, own the pressure, kick the goal. Has never kicked a goal in his AFL career. And that remains the case. Just his third game, Kane Lambert. 5-13, Hutto for the Richmond Tigers. <laughs> That's probably one of the most important stats out there. We don't talk about it enough, but it's one hard we could be looking at. Sneaky play from Heath Shaw, but didn't quite hit a target. Just needed to be on the other side. And this is a real mental challenge now for the Giants. They've got themselves a nice handy lead, but if they just try and save the game, they'll lose the game. Downey, Shield, Trelaw, Griffin, all the big midfielders involved. The best he could do is scramble it. Hurley, Revolt is deep. He's going to go via Chaplin, though. Revolt's still in the square, leads into the pocket. He oh, wasn't well placed for him at all, and they finally sorted things out the Giants' defence. He's done well again, Kennedy. This young boy that uh, reads the ball really well. Sure playing traffic cop, telling them where to run to. And they oblige Whitfield. Now, there are times to hit the one in the middle, and there are times to go down the line. I suspect going down the line is probably the brave move. But, sorry, the one in the middle is the brave move, and they've pulled it off. Core for Marchbank. There's a look there for the Tigers. The spoil was solid. And now it's over to Brett Delidio. His left boot is not going to help matters. It all came down to the pressure applied up the ground. Yeah. Good mark by Ryan Griffin. It's been good today. Probably been one of his better games for the Giants, Jared. No doubt. It may well be his best. Giants followers uh, would know better than us, but it's been such an impressive performance off half-back. He kicks from centre-half back to centre-half forward. McCarthy comes out, back. looking to mark. Green. Good That's tackle. Gone. That's a terrific tackle. Oh, oh he's oh. played in the back row. Gee. Toby Green. Lobs deep, crowd watching the replay score. Paid the, he blew the whistle too early there, the umpire. 
had an interesting 30 seconds, it's fair to say. Cotchen darting one way, clean pair of heels into the middle. Who does he go? He does. Back to Cotchen. All by hand through the middle, maybe one too many as it turned out. Griffin again trying to lift this team. Cotchen not mucking around. Gets at the centre half forward. What's Revolt got? He's gone to ground, he's got a free. Professional free there, and I think it was fair enough. They actually got a bit nervous with the ball inside their forward 50. Panicking a little bit, the Giants. They had an opportunity to slow it down, but a nice kick off the ground, and they don't hurt by the skipper for Richmond has set this one up. He read it best. Free kick every day of the week. So Revol for Richmond has just kicked the one goal as he did when they last met in round 19 here at the MCG. So much made of the time before in round 10 when he kicked 11. This is a very different team they're up against now. And this is a very big kick from Jack Revol. It's got to go 60 metres in the wet at the MCG. What a leader he is now, Jack Revol. What a player. This is what I love about Jack Revol now. His leadership has gone to another level, Jared, hasn't it? We've seen it last week. He, not single-handedly, but he was the most important player on the ground in their defeat of Sydney last week. Stands up at a critical moment. He misses this. Richmond are nearly out of the game, Jared. He sets the occasion. Magnificent kick. Agree with you 100%. That was a goal that just had to be kicked. And he sure was, uh, had the big exclamation moment. I don't think he wanted to come from the ground. But uh, he was rotated off. First multiple goal kick out for Richmond, and there's the ferocity of the Tigers. You'd be clearing the players out of the way of Jack Reed. will be pushing him up the ground. Vickery needs to play true set half forward. Try and get Rewalt in a one on one against Young Buntine. Cal Ward. The best way to do it is to win clearances and get it up the other end of the ground. Now the Tigers have got the out number. Yep. Frostone, who applied that with such expertise last week. Challenging play. kick for Delidio at putting it nicely. Well Griffin done. used his body to great effect. Scully was stumbling, but now he's poised and putting it up for McCarthy. Next in line. Round the corner, Jeremy Cameron. It's got there. At one end, it's Jack. At the other end, it's Jeremy. Brilliant play all around. Ryan Griffin, he didn't touch the ball, but that was his goal. He protects it magnificently. Have a look at this. The ball just comes to the ground. He protects it. Tom Scully makes a smart decision. Kicks it to the dangerous one-on-one. -on -one. And this guy, that's genius. Brilliant goal around the left. What a response. Jeremy Cameron's second goal of the afternoon. With his work rate, he's going to get opportunities like that. Quite often they'll come late in the game. Well done. Both the gap forwards. Right. James opened up. It's great to watch. Edwards storming out of the middle with style and lands the bomb. He's landed a big bomb, Shane Edwards. There's more. One of the great goals of the year. Fantastic combination. Just a straightforward tap to Shane Edwards, who took it upon himself to say, we're not out of this game yet. Have a look at this for a kick. Don't say a lot of this, do you, in the wet conditions. With Shane Edwards on the fly, the perfect set play. Marriage puts it down his throat. A really good long finish. And never would have thought 63 to 55 halfway through the last quarter. We'd say it's been a really exciting game. Sure, Hutto, what do you reckon if there's a little fingernail on that or not? But I'd certainly be having a quick look at it, but play on. Play on they do in the middle. Excitement around the MCG. Trelaw, is there a path out? There is a clear one. Shield gathers himself to release a big, big kick. Then he changes his mind because he saw what was on offer. It was Smith who punches to the space. Jack Steele takes them over. And... They'll take that inside the 50. Richmond fans trying to get a, a chant going, but they're not getting much response at the moment. The Tigers have come out having a crack, though, in this quarter. Three, he hit the ball hardest. He wanted it. 
was in lowest. He deserves the free kick. Been more desperate this quarter, Jared. No doubt about it. You yeah. can see it impacting in both ways. They're winning the footy and they're making the Giants' kicks go astray. Batchelor guiding it for Rance. Trying to spread them out a bit too. Trying to get themselves into a one-on-one -on -one scenario. This is a two-on-two -on -two that's... Two on one, I should say. Got rid of Stewart, who's come on the ground. Should have got that one back there, the Giants. Had the two on one. So Marchbank subbed off for Stewart. He's sure back on the ground, patrolling, spearman in defence. Cotch an improvised ward. ward lifting. Yep, Shield. Again, it opens up for him. His left boot, McCarthy or Cameron. Went for Cameron, it's over his head. Oh, and Rance. <laughs> Marvellous in the air. It's been a good battle all day, Rance and Cameron, but. Guy's a great defender. That was a right kick, though. He kicked it to an outnumbered situation. He had McCarthy on the charge. Delidio, McIntosh, Lambert waiting for him half forward. Revolt coming. He's still coming. Doesn't get there. Martin brushes off as he always does. You can't stop him in full flight, but he misses the shot for goal. Getting wound up here, the Tiger fans. The MCG. Yeah, and Dustin Martin's really lifted his intensity this quarter. Got a fair bit of the footy. Just need to finish that one. Did run across. The only negative I'd say is he ran across in front of Jack Greenwell. I'll be getting way out of the way of Jack Greenwell at the moment. Listen to that time of crowd. Shaw kicks in. Rob, not quite. Alice, Martin, Hampton. The desperation from all both sides, all players out there. And he's gone. Red hot. He's red hot, but all right. Not sure how much opportunity he had to get rid of that ball. That's all. Brandon Ellis. Mm. You'd like to get the umpire's explanation on that one. And it's probably because he got incorrect disposal. Yeah, yeah. So. We see that, saw it three times last night. And it's play on. So Brandon Ellis, just four goals for the season. He's had a fine year. It's really emerged. He's just 21 years of age. He's in great form, but he's kicking goals that matter right now for Richmond. Doesn't look like that's going to land. Oh, Revolt. Giving the Giants a scare on the line. We're down to what is a one-goal ball game, even though the Giants have kicked nine goals and Richmond have kicked seven. It's 9-9 to 7-15. Look at the energy on the mark here by Gordon. It shows the Tigers are up and about, but you can't allow that kick. Well, they've got one free here too. He's out the back. Hunting for steel. Oh, great effort from Rance. He is amazing. And the ball's anywhere vaguely near his vicinity. He'll a, get there. What a love. He makes the decision, then he backs himself in. If he leaves his man, he goes full ball, 100 miles an hour. He's got terrific closing speed. Down at the tap, but Grigg was onto it. It's inside again. Reva punched away. Core has a rare victory against him. Buntine on the bench. And Reva has the man who he dominated last year. What a challenge for the young man. Still being played in Richmond's forward half at the moment. Got to break a line here. GWS win the footy again. Miles to Lydio. It's going in his direction again. It's one on one. It's Jack Revolt and Core. They scramble. They hunt it. They smash it to the boundary in desperation, sure. And Alice goes with it. Contested possessions this quarter. It's a big gap, isn't it? 19 to 11. Now he's throwing. Vickery. Greg Cotchen, he's kicked big goals of late, and you can mark that one down as another. Scores a level, and Richmond have found something that we haven't seen for the rest of the day. It's a bit more proactive around the stoppages, a little bit more movement. See Trent Cotchen here, like, get on the move, you feel the Tigers' players. See Tr Trent Cotchen runs through there. That's really hard to defend against. We haven't seen this in the first three quarters by the Richmond players. It's been the GWS guys that have had the movement and the stoppages. Now, Richmond getting desperate, getting on the move, creating opportunity. 
great goal though. It's so inspiring when the skipper gets it from the stoppage. He needed to be guarded better. He got loose. He delivered and brings his side right back with the opposition. Scores level at the MCG. Midpoint of this final turn. They're breaking out of tackles. They're doing it all the Tigers. Hunt's kick smothered though on that occasion. Well done, Dylan Shield. Good back up. Bruce Palmer was involved as well. Cox and Delia Martin have all lifted in this quarter. The two coaches. The emotions changing by the minute. Steel. There is Delia there. One of the leaders. Big, aggressive, strong tackle. It's what you need from your leaders under pressure. He's had a big last quarter already with four disposals. Make that five. They're inside again. They're outnumbered here. And the use all important on the way out. Kennedy in collaboration with Williams. They do it nicely. Much better pressure, though. The pressure's finally there from the Tigers that you'd expect. It's taken a long time, but when the situation got desperate, they got desperate. All going short to shield. Having a big last quarter. Already with seven despite No movement at all, though. They're just... They look as if they're... Uh, Really struggling to find some options up forward because there's no ballistic movement. McCarthy was the flyer. Hurley sets a bit of a challenge for young Lambert. Smith kept it in. There's a matchup that could determine this game, my uh, Granny. Ryan Griffin on Dustin Martin. It's an absolute beauty. You want you want Griffin to try and expose Martin and get up the ground and take him away from the ball. He's had four intercept marks, Griffin, career best. Here's Miles, thumps it again. Rebound against two. Couldn't take it, brought a couple down with him. Newman, Buntine, bundled over the line. Inside the last ten minutes now at the MCG. Getting on the fly here, the Richmond players. Let's look for movement again. He's Cotchin was well covered that time. There's the big fella down, he got it away. Gets them back to the wing. Jeremy Cameron I sat down on the Richmond bench for a moment there. They're still going to attack the game here, Jared, don't they, GWS? They can't get flat footed, can't follow the Richmond midfielders around at these stoppages. Got to try and create the stoppages for themselves. Some right clearances. Martin's come up onto the ball. Ward just dabs the ball to half forward. Yes. John Stewart onto the ground, the sub. Yep. It's an odd sub, isn't it, in a way, to have such a tall player? Not normally the case. Yeah, March makes one that's come off, guys. Happened a couple of minutes ago. And you're right, I think they'd be regretting that move right now, guys. They needed a smaller player with these kind of conditions, someone in and under. Marriage. Ward. Whitfield. Here is Stewart. Spun out of the tackle. Challenge for Smith. No backing down, Tigers, Bachelor, brilliant. Out the back, Hawley, still pressure on McIntosh, and they know it, Rance. And finally got the run of the ball, Hunt back to McIntosh, and to Hawley, oh, and the Tiger fans applaud. That was a pivotal moment. Gordon, so the youngsters, able to get the ball, out of trouble. Down the line, Greg. They advance, 60, call it 50 now, to full forward, Revolt, and almost cleared the lot. Shaw was on guard on that last line. Made a blue there, Trent Cox to the top of the goal square, needed to lead up out of the way. Revolt was rolling back to the goal square in a one-on-one, -on -one. and eventually it was Cochin's man, Heath Shaw, that was able to get back there and affect the spoil. Shaw guides the pass to Williams. Great kick under pressure from Heath Shaw, found a target. Zach Williams goes short to Ward. Try to take a more cautious approach down the line. Comes unstuck. Marriage. This will open up. Martin ready to receive. No. Hurley goes his own way. Off the left boot. Revolt stalking forward. Ready to jump if he can. Can't mark. And the Giants defence. Buntine stands up again. He's working against the odds down there, Jack. Well, Hurley's just getting so much of the footy off that half-back line. That's when they tend to play their best game, the Tigers. So it's seven in the last quarter already. Careful approach again from the Giants. Shaw's ducked out the back. Takes the mark. They've got to be proactive now. 
It's down to seven and a half, and they find themselves behind. Griffin Marks. Good defence by the Tigers. Really have held them up. It's going to have to go to a contest. McCarthy, Stewart, Chaplin. Didn't really want to keep it in. Marriage. The hands will lightning from Trelaw. Palmer. And there's danger again. It's one on one, but it's Alex Rance. There was a little hint of a little push, but it was given the tick by the umpire. Back into the middle of Hooley. Had a path if he wants to take it, he does. Dustin Martin decided not to give to Alice. Instead, he kicked. It's a thumping ball inside 50. Oh, Williams man. tracks it back. She's oh, reading it well. Yeah, he has. But a positive for the Giants today. No Williams. Into Shaw. So the inside a kick still. 65 to 63. Stewart Ward busting a gap to try and get the next link, but. The smother was great from Chaplin, and now the tall no, they can't reset. It's Shield, could have dabbed it to Ward. Instead, he goes to McCarthy, and he's beaten one-on-one -on -one by Batchelor. Had to be the handball from Shield. Chipping ball into the middle, Miles. Next off the line, to Lydia. Careful kick to Gordon. They hold their line. Got one-on-ones in the forward line. Green, sensing that, gets back. Provides the assistance required with the ball over the line and out of bounds. It's 5.50 on the clock. Yeah. I might look back to that one where uh, Shield was over the top there, wasn't he, Jared? And uh, but we need to handball ahead. Unfortunately, now for the Giants, it's down in Richmond's forward line. Marriage. Chalor. Took on a big load and he's penalised. This being the noticeable area, Hutto, is. Richmond's tackling pressure, Absolutely. their intensity of the contest, getting huge numbers at the Giants, met ball carrier, holding the ball there, big kick, this needs to go to the top of the goal square. Lambert adjusted it for the charging revolt, there's Giants players everywhere, marriage, Tyrone Vickery! They're climbing touch, but I think they'll get it. The sheer weight of numbers, Jared. Just keep it taking the top of the goal square. Really smart kick there by Liam, the top of the goal square for Jack Rewald crashing through. Ty Vickery was there at ground level. Now let's just see if there's any fingernails on this. No. Uh, definitely not going to be able to tell from that angle, but I don't think there was anyway. The sheer weight of numbers, they've kept it taking the top of the goal square. It's been great in this last quarter, it's opened up the Giants' defence. Four goals, five in this last quarter to just one goal straight. Under siege, the Giants. It's been their leaders that have stood up too, Arno. Again. Delidio's had a lot. Chaplin's been good. Cochin. Hooley's had eight possessions. Cochin tries to find a way. He got a boot to ball. Trelaw as they try and hit back. Scully. Good kick. Smith. And cuts it over the top for Lobb. Some of the decision making in the forward half in this quarter has been really poor. GWS under the pump. It's uh, launched a number of Richmond counter attacks. It's created goals. This time they get pretty basic shot at goal. Young man under no real expectation. So they kick this, they're back in it. Absolutely. He's just kicked the one goal in his four game career, Rory Law. All 206 centimetres of him. And he's oh, yeah. down. What about that? Smash! Wow, what a kick by the young fella. <laughs> Fair to say, he's lost a bit of West Coast Eagles. Oh, there's 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 Josh Kennedy there from the Eagles. Josh right? Kennedy's got a trademark on that, and it's back. Good old stutter step. In it goes, oh, nice little play there. Over to Lobb, and wow, this is as big as kick as this young fella probably having his whole career, but have a look at the stutter. But it works for him, Jared. It well, works, so it's perfect technique. Well done. Well done. Well done. Young so the pressure Great the young kick. Fella. Well, just when Richmond fans might have been thinking it was all over, it's on again. And the tension returns to the MCG. The young Giants 
giving it their best crack here. High ball marriage, a standoff deep. Revolt didn't really fly, but time got it down. McIntosh, Delidio enters but can't take it. It's back with the Giants. It's Smith kicking to the ring. It's Lob again. Trying to beat this young bloke, has he? It's good to see some young ruckmen coming along. Obviously, Shane Mumford's a massive loss for the Giants. Got to get some support, though. If you're going to go down the line, you can't kick it to five against two, three against two. Rance, spectacular in his defensive efforts. Chaplin to half forward. Shaw, his experience has been telling. This time he's mowing down to be furious again. Good point there, Jared. McCarthy and Jeremy Cameron are both too far away from the ball carrier. And the players are coming off half back. They're looking for someone long to kick to there. A long forward down the line, and they're both inside 50. That's a lesson for them. Revolt! <laughs> She's caught the elevator, is that right? Have a look at this. And up you go. And a good well defensive done. punch by the bunt. Three minutes 24. Richmond holding on to a two point lead. Downey, Cotchin, Dustin Martin, the chip, Vickery again. Edwards over to Revolt, didn't get enough on it. Hunter down. That was a great tackle by Devin Smith. Adam Kennedy came through there as well. Great effort. It was a Kennedy, it was there. Yeah, yeah, I saw the zero. They've kicked three goals from clearances this quarter, Richmond. And they dearly love another one. Or is that high? It is high. Yeah. It is there. Well, they don't have blow with their ruck. They just need to knock that ball through. Get away the point. Get yourself possession. Don't keep it in play. You knock it through on the full, though. It's a free kick, isn't it, Jared? It'd be a guy. Yeah. Well, bring it to ground and yeah, that's get it right. through the goals. At least force it in the direction of the goals. Anthony Miles whose career started with the Giants. Just keep in mind, they've kicked nine goals, 17 today, so nothing is certain. But surely this one goes through. With two minutes 25 on the clock, Miles, it's hard left. Bit of goal kicking work this week at front row, Jared. All, gra all grain, sorry, all clubs have got goal kicking practice. <laughs> I'm sure it helps though. Heath Shaw gives it everything he's got. It's a funny old low torpedo. Almost got to the middle. It's gone fortuitously to McCarthy. He was dismissed pretty quickly. Now Chaplin. McIntosh and of course Martin heads for the boundary. Vickery Revolt decides to try and oh. keep it in. Jeez. It's over. Still time here for the Giants. Tigers will be trying to get numbers around the contest, keep it in tight. Marriage. Shield. It comes out. Chaplin, underground, not great for Hooley, and they've got some resources here. Steele, Newman, one playing his second game, the other so experienced. Newman, Miles, Steele, <laughs> up for it. Hooley, it goes Richmond's way. Dustin Martin storming along the MCG. Beautiful kick out of the 50, and Shane Edwards. Hasn't he been in board? Go back and kick it. Take your time. Well, a Take behind, 30 seconds off the clock. A behind here is exactly what the Giants need to get possession. Obviously, they'll go back and have the shot, but... They'll probably go miles a lot of time. Back uh, in the 50, about 70 metres out from the Giants' goal. He held the whistle for as long as he could. Miles was able to release. That's where the Tiger play all started. Cheeks puff out several times. Shane Edwards has matured into a superb footballer, a leader of the Richmond Football Club, right. and he shows why. Stands up at the MCG. Unshakable faith. and puts it through. Well, we 
said they have to find a way, Brownie, if they're going to be serious contenders. And this was no easy challenge because the Giants are a far better side than what they've shown over the last couple of weeks. And they brought their very best game today, but it hasn't been enough. The Tigers haven't the brought their best game, yeah. and yet they've found a way to get the four points. And that's part and parcel of playing in the big games at the end of September. It is, that's right. And there's, there's no greater roar, no louder roar with a, a Tiger goal, especially when they're under pressure. But it's their leaders that have been able to stand up in this last quarter, Joe. Tigers have got almost everyone back now. They won't find an easy path forward if they win the ball. Giants need to get it out of the middle. And that's very handy for Richmond. Richmond will keep numbers around the contest. Marriage will try and tuck the ball and keep it in really tight. They want another ball up here. Newman hangs it up. Jack versus two. Was almost held without it. Scully to Shaw. He goes for the lot. Oh, a fumble from Delidio. Seven seconds. Greg, they've done enough, the Tigers. A big challenge at the MCG from the Giants. They fall short. Damian Hardwick, who gave them a massive rev at three-quarter time. They kicked five goals in three quarters. They kicked five goals in the last turn to get home, the Tigers. An exhausting win. As the siren sounds with Richmond getting the four points. And again, the shared brotherhood of football being shown out on the ground.